We may be the first in the world to plow snow with a Ford F-150 Lightning. And it wasn't easy. See how we did it next on In Depth. I was getting really frustrated last week. Why were you getting frustrated? Because I was trying to learn Python. Why were you trying to learn Python? That's a programming language. What are you programming now? I just wanted to at least get a basic understanding of it. Okay, but why were you frustrated? Well, because I started on YouTube and it was taking me forever just to find a video I could relate to. I can see why you're frustrated. You know, instead of dealing with endless searches, ads, and all that, you should have taken Brilliant's course on programming with Python. Wait, Brilliant has courses on coding? Yeah, they're great because you can dive right in and start learning on whatever topic you're interested in. Oh, right. Brilliant has over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. Yeah, and you don't need to convince a registrar that you should be allowed to take any of them. You can just jump into differential equations just to see what it's all about. Join Jesse and I in a community of 8 million learners and educators today. To support our channel and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash now you know and sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Thank you to Brilliant for supporting today's show. All right, so we got the Ford F-150 Lightning. You guys all know that. We were really excited to get it and do all sorts of truck stuff with it. We've already made a whole bunch of episodes showing what you can do. And I wanted to do some snow plowing. And because that's good. It's December and uh, it's snowing out. And we have a freaking truck. So I was, I mean, my whole life, we have been either shoveling or snow blowing, or paying some guy to come plow us out, and I'm sick and tired of it. I want to take care of the snow myself. I want to oh! uh, when you coming with the plow? Yes, exactly. I'm gonna plow when I want. Right. So electric snow plowing. Let's go. Yeah. So we called around and we got the following exchange. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get a snow plow on my Ford F-150 Lightning, please. Uh, that's the four. Uh, what? How many cylinders does it have? No, no. This is the Lightning. This is the electric one. Is that the, um, no, I don't see that one here. No, no, it, it's just like a Ford F-150, except it's electric. You shouldn't even, it shouldn't even matter to you. Uh, no, I don't think we can do that one. No, of course you can. It's a, it's a Ford. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can talk to the plow company and see if it works, but. Uh, okay, you know what, you know what? I'll call the plow company. Okay, so then we called some big snow plow companies like Fisher up in Maine. Mm -hmm. They know about snow plowing. They've been around for a while. And the exchange went something like this. Hey, Fisher, how you doing? I got a Ford F-150 Lightning. I'd like to put a snow plow on it. Which model should I get? Um, yeah, we don't have any models yet. Uh, we're just, we're worried about the 12 volt battery. What are you worried about? Uh, well, you know, the truck doesn't have a 12 volt battery. No, so... no, 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 no. It, it does have a 12 volt battery. Um... I don't think it does. So no, 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 no. It, it does have a 12 volt battery. Okay. Um, well, we're just sort of validating. Um, you know what? Can I talk to someone like who's actually working on the project? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, let me just put you on hold. Hello? Hello? 20 minutes later. Yeah, they hung up on us. Um, here's the thing. So they didn't believe us, I guess, that there was a 12 volt battery. Uh, they seem to just think that there's no way to hook it up. So, I guess they're waiting till they get their hands on one. Then we decided to take the matter to our own hands. We took the Ford. We drove up to the place where we got that spray in bed liner. We did that episode right here on that. That's because these guys do a lot of snow plows. They've worked on it. They've even worked on Ford Lightnings. So we were like, sure, that this was the way to do it. Got the guy out there. He first told us, of course, no there's 12 no, volt battery. no 12 volt battery. We open the open frunk. The frunk, open the 12 volt battery door to show the 12 volt battery. So we thought we had won and we were ready to get it installed. And of course, he had another argument, which was, well, hang on, uh, where would we attach this to the frame? And I said, well, it's the same frame as a regular Ford F-150. Then he proceeded to climb under the truck. And I really appreciate uh, the hard work that he did. He he looked at it and, he, and a lot of swearing came in, coming from under the truck. Yeah. So it turns out that the cooling radiator box um, they had to drop it at Ford down below the frame. So it actually goes down level at the bottom of the frame. And that's because they need to make room for the trunk. trunk. Um, and so that's normally in between those two rails is where you would install the mounting hardware for a plow. And now you can't. Without doing a lot of different things. We would have to, number one, probably cut out the radiator. No, no. Well, we could make an outside bracket, but then the problem is you'd be dropping down so low that you'd be interfering with the front fascia of the truck. So you might have to actually alter that. We would definitely have to alter that. We would also have to, I mean, look, anything is possible with enough metal, fabrication, welding. So then we said to ourselves, you know what? We're not experts at this. Let's call a certain garage that we will not name that specializes in electric vehicles and we were quoted more than $30,000 to install a snowplow. 
I'm not going to. It's It was the electrified garage. We we called them because we saw a guy who had a Model Y with a snowplow. And we were like, great. Yeah. They know how to do it. And it just costs. What were we quoted? $34,000. Uh, so we were despondent and practically in tears until we hit upon this. A hitch mounted snowplow by Snowsport. Now. Is it exactly what we wanted? No. We wanted a plow on the front of the truck with, you know, up and down and left and right controls. But will this work? Well, let's find out. All right. So we just uh, had a very small little snow squall, maybe an inch or two. Yeah. Um, obviously, this isn't perfect testing conditions, but we wanted to get out there before it melted and show you. Um, you were doing the driving. Yep. Uh, what would you say? How easy was it to see what you were doing with the backup cam? And how was it? You know, how was it? Uh, the backup camera was excellent. I could really see what I was doing. I could see the whole plow, which was very nice. Um, the plowing itself was Now, now can fine. you control up and down? No. So it floats, basically. Okay. Um, and one of the things that we ran into is we actually... Uh, you ran into something? No, no. <laughs> At one point, we were kind of like coming over this little crest and the blade actually lifted off um we have it set in the lowest position that i think we can do we would have to get it use our offset to get it even lower and so i mean that introduces a whole lot more wiggle and but wobble. in generally and when we're on the flat stuff yeah um like in that just parking lot it seemed to work really well it seemed to work fine And what i like about it actually is that one person could do it by themselves um you can just lift one side then yep. go lift the other and then if you want to turn it left or right you can do that yourself as well that was very easy too to turn it now would i make this my professional snow plow if that was my job no it would be way too much getting in and out and you couldn't do all the fine work that you normally can but is it good for your house or your farm yes i would say it totally passes for that and if you have a front mounted hitch now ford f-150 as far as i know at the moment you can't have one so this would only be for other trucks it might be easier to do a front mounted hitch than it would be to do a front mounted plow Maybe. system. Um, again, you're, you don't have the. They do sell a winch attachment for like seven or 800 bucks so that you could lift it and lower it um, without having to get out of the truck. But it's not a replacement, in my opinion, for a real professional. Plow. Right. So, I mean, there are a lot of disadvantages of this. I mean, if I was to come alongside something like, uh, say, the side of a house or a barn and I was to be plowing, um, I would have to basically stop and and drive forward again in order to reposition reposition because right. otherwise I would steer the truck into the barn in order to start driving away. Right. From because it. your wheels in this case are at the back of the vehicle. And so the front, what I want to bring up is if Cybertruck is going to have four wheel steering, which apparently it will. Would this allow you to do more maneuvering? It would, but I hope that I hope that the Cybertruck allows for a front hitch. Yeah, let, we'll get into that in a second. So, to me, this is a good twelve hundred dollars solution. That's roughly what it costs. Um, but really, Ford snowplow companies, you are missing a huge opportunity. And I think that if Tesla is listening right now, maybe your engineers aren't thinking snowplow because you're in Texas. But I think it's super important that you make it possible for everyone to attach a snowplow, even if you don't have a factory ready solution, although I'd love it if you did. So I'm hoping that the Chevy Silverado EV, the Endurance from Lordstown and the Ram uh, pickup truck all don't make the same mistake. I think that, look, pickup trucks, that's one of the main uses is to do plowing. I think that one of the issues that we might be seeing is that because they want to give that frunk space, they might be thinking, let's just drop the radiator out of the way. I don't know who thought that that was the right solution to make when they knew damn well that the front plow would be impossible. So here's another thing. On the front of the F-150 Lightning, there's just a big plastic cover. The engineers at Ford could have designed a cross piece between the two front rails to put some kind of metal bracket with like an uh, an offset hitch that would come out the front. You could like open some kind of thing on the front and you'd have your hitch right there. And I think it would make a huge, and look, it could be an option, but it would be a huge, huge thing. And if you're saying how huge, well, snow plows for trucks, the market size in the US was $387 million in 2019. That's expected to grow to over half a billion dollars by 2027. This is a big market. It's in fact a $20 billion market when you count actually snow plowing where you hire people, there's 176,000 people employed and over 87,000 snow plow businesses. Many of these businesses are construction companies and landscapers that do this during the winter season and they use their pickup trucks. But why would Ford not be prepared for this? 
I think, look, at a certain point, a decision probably had to be made. And probably some of the higher ups at Ford went good, good. Let the mall crawlers buy this buy this pickup truck. Screw guys who are going to buy this pickup truck. They better buy our gas versions because that's what we truly love here at Ford. They wow. have it, this. If anything shows that Ford is not in this to win it, it is that right there. Yeah. Because you don't have to say anything. It's all through action that you can tell that they don't care. Wow. And look, I know a lot of you in the comments are going to say, Zach and Jesse, you guys know how to weld now. So why didn't you just go in your shop, make some metal fabrication? And look, we probably could. If we stop what we're doing for a couple of weeks, I bet we could figure this out and make a bracket. But here's the big part. We'd be probably voiding the manufacturer warranty on the truck by mm -hmm. doing that. And I don't want to do that for just a video. I mean, if I was doing this for a business, you know, maybe I would bother. But like this truck really hasn't proven itself yet to be even in the business of plowing when it should be. Because if you think about the low weight distribution, the fact that it's a skateboard design with all that weight down low, a and lot of weight on the truck and it, the torque, it would be perfect for plowing. I mean, honestly, the, the reverse plowing that I was doing, I know I was, <laughs> I know that I was plowing three quarters of an inch of snow, um, but it, the whole truck was just no, no problem. Um, I really think that even when if we get a foot, that thing is going to be able to plow the whole driveway. Well, and here's the thing. I've driven a gas-powered snowplow a few times. And too. one of the things you need to do is you need to rev up if you're going to be hitting like a big pile because you need all of that torque. Sometimes you do that just because you want the inertia. But the fact that you can get all that torque from zero means that a, a Ford F-150 Lightning snowplow would be amazing. It should have far more control. It, it should be the superior option it's such a shame and here's another thing ford you're out there trying to keep your dealers happy you're trying to get them to sign up for this ev certification program they need to sell stuff right to stay in business if they could be hooking up plows to people's trucks they'd have a whole other business thing but now we've talked to them they don't know anything about plows for it so they're they're missing out on a huge market and honestly all of these plow manufacturers, um, com you know, companies that build plows for trucks. I mean, hey, it's definitely tough. I'm sure that they've barely been able to get an F-150 Lightning in yet so far this season. I'm sure that they're working super hard on it, and that's why they didn't pick up the phone when we called and it auto hung up on us. Um, um, this is where Ford should have worked with these big companies like Boss and Fisher because they could have gotten in these trucks or at least at least the specs mm -hmm. early on so they could have been working on it. But to miss one or two snow seasons before you even come up with a solution and who knows, maybe they'll never come up with a solution because part of the problem was height. And that's very hard to overcome because a lot of Ford owners are not going to want to cut up the front faces of their trucks. Right. I know I'm not going to want to. <laughs> so there you have it. We have a $1,200 band-aid solution i would call it it's definitely not the amazing snow plow that i wanted to be bringing you um it's very very dinky it's something we could have done on sparky for goodness yeah. sake um we could have done it on a model x we could have done it with a model y i just do want to say life hack here i mean i've been living in new england my whole life and i've had to hire you know snow plow companies and stuff um this is a great solution for a lot of people it's not a big investment and it would allow i think it would pay for itself probably in a couple seasons yeah and i mean there are even cheaper versions we got basically the top of the line um which you know has the pivot the pivot's nice um you know you can do that by yourself and i really thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was it's easy honestly though with our system and the box ends on it i mean we'll see when we get more snow i think we'll have an update video uh if we get i don't know ten thousand likes uh in this video i think we can we can probably do an update video i don't want to do you know ford plowing update if no one's going to watch it so uh you know just let us know if you're interested in it. No, I mean, I want to know how it does in heavier snow. And yeah, I'm, I'm curious if that angle, it's only like 10 degrees. I'm curious if that does anything. I didn't notice a difference. It seemed to just push everything because it has those box ends. Mm -hmm. Nothing sort of falls off the end, but with enough snow, it probably would. Yeah. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Now you know.